Hey guys, this is Weibo and I have a small request. If you're watching my videos and if you like my videos, then please try to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and hit likes. Uh, it will motivate me and it will make me aware to make more videos. To create uh, this highly uh, knowledgeable video, I have to study a lot and then I have to put all together and create a video. Please like those videos if you found them informative. On this note, let's begin this new video. video. We are going to see VSX virtual components. We are going to see what is virtual system. We are going to see what is virtual router. We are going to see what is virtual switch. So let's begin with what is virtual system. Virtual systems is a security and routing domain that provide the functionality of security gateway with full firewall and VPN facilities. Virtual systems, nothing but your firewall. Virtual system maintain its own software blades, interfaces, IP addresses, routing table, ARP table, and dynamic routing configuration. Each virtual system also maintain its own state table, security and VPN policies, Configuration parameters, login configurations. This virtual system act like a firewall and you can see on the screen you can create a multiple virtual systems. That is the purpose of the VSX gateway and you can use all these virtual systems for different customers. Consider virtual system 1 is used for say network 3, virtual system 2 is used for network 4 virtual system 3 is used for network 2 and virtual system 4 is used for network 1 basically these virtual systems are protecting a separate network and this is what the benefit what we get from the virtual systems like a firewall and this virtual system individually handles all the firewalling work now next let's understand what is virtual router so you can see on the screen this is your virtual router. Virtual router is an independent routing domain within a VSX gateway that perform the functionality of physical routers. So in real world, if you see the Cisco routers, whatever the functionality provided by the Cisco routers, you can achieve same via this virtual router. So basically, whenever you want to route the traffic, you want to do routing between the virtual systems, virtual devices, you can use virtual router. Virtual router supports dynamic routing as well. Virtual routers perform routing functions. All sort of routing can achieve via this virtual router. It's like a physical router. Virtual router maintain a routing table. So you will expect to get a routing table when you run those command in this router as well with a list of routes entries which describes which network and direction he wanted to go. So like the Cisco routers, you will achieve that thing from this virtual router as well. So that is all about the virtual routers. Now let's see about the virtual switches. So if you see this part, this is called virtual switch. This virtual switch is L2 virtual switch, which connect virtual system and the virtual networks or the networks behind the virtual systems and facilitates sharing a common physical interface without segmenting the existing IP network. So if you compare with the Cisco L2 switches, whatever the functionality you will get from that, you will achieve same from these virtual switches. Now we have spoke about virtual routers, virtual system, virtual switch. Now let's talk about the link which connects these three virtual devices together we call it warp link basically whenever you create these virtual devices connection between these devices happen via a special interface which automatically create when you create these virtual devices that connection or interface we called warp link now let's conclude with three key interfaces type for 
vsx one we have external one we have internal and one we have sync depending on the setup these three interface come into the picture dedicated management interface is also we call as a physical interface but we already spoke about it so we are not going into that external interface we call it like something the communication happen via external interface to the outside world internal interface these are the interface which uh, which we connect our internal network and the sync interface which we use for the clustering purpose there are other interfaces which are also important let's talk about them number one vlan interface if you have requirement to direct the ethernet frames to a specific virtual system then you can use vlan interface and in vlan interface this functionality we can achieve using vlan tag for example consider vlan tag 100 like this on the ets3 for example what will happen it will assign a virtual interface named say eth3.100 so you will be getting a sub interface like this and the traffic using this vlan tag will reach to the destination which designated for this communication guys there is a one more interface which also use in vsx we call it a unnumbered interface so vsx let you reduce the number of ip addresses required for vsx network deployment when you use one or more virtual routers you know we discuss about this uh, warp link a warp link connected to a virtual router and that warp link have a facility or a flexibility or a functionality to borrow an existing ip address from another interfaces you know instead of assigning a dedicated address to the interface which leading to your virtual routers you can you know borrow those ip addresses that capabilities what vsx provide we call it unnumbered interface let's conclude this video with the management traffic so as you can see on the screen we have the management server here which is located remotely and we have a vsx gateway here and this vsx gateway we have this virtual system behind this virtual systems we have these networks now whenever management server wanted to communicate to vsx gateway or management's via management server we wanted to perform some configuration related activities or a vsx gateway what happened will initiate a communication from this management server this management server's communication travel via internet via uh, internet router to the vsx gateway vsx gateway give the instruction to the particular virtual system if it's required to communicate with this virtual systems and from this virtual system we will do whatever the basic configuration we require to perform likewise we can do the instruction to the virtual routers and virtual switch as well so this is what the flow of the traffic if you want to communicate via management server if it's uh, if the management server is at remote site